aboard passengers. Little Mega Sim here. And Mega Sim, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. We have just had our marathon on the London commuter. And now we have been told that there is a news article all around the 1938 tube stock. So let's have a look at it together. Art Deco Detail. So we're going to experience a true London veteran that harkens back to the Art Deco era with Rivet Games' London Underground 1938 tube stock coming October 14th. Yes, we are so close to it. Next week, we will get the 1938 tube stock. So looking back at the history of this train, in 1935, plans were drawn up for modernising public transport throughout London including new generations of trams, buses, new rolling stock for London's deep level underground lines to support their under construction extensions. The result for the latter was the 1938 stock, a revolutionary des new design at the time, with all the traction equipment installed under the train floor instead, which was before this time, behind the driver's cab, which expanded the capacity on every single service. The new 1938 stock we go on to having a long-lasting career working on the Northern Line, the Piccadilly Line, the Central Line, and of course, the Bakerloo Line, which they operated until the 1980s. And as if this wasn't a prestigious life enough as it is, a handful of sets would be shortened to two cars, adapted for third rail capability, and painted in the striking Network Southeast livery for use on the Isle of Wight as the Class 483, where they were used until January this year, making them the oldest working passenger rolling stock in the country. Combining all this with the fact that the 1938 stock's revolutionary design would inspire future stock throughout the decades, it turned itself an unshakable legacy and an enthusiastic following. So, as you know, we do have additional videos on this. Rivet Games have produced the walk around, which we are seeing in this video as well. Plus, there is a 483 versus 1938 tube stock video. So, they are showing you the difference between the two trains. This Friday 8th, uh, Sam will be joined by Rat Matt from Rivet Games. Rat Matt from Rivet Games showcasing this. But we will get to see this properly on London Bakerloo line from next week, from the 14th of October. Hello, Ted. Yes, give me kisses. So that's going to be good. It's a local DLC, so we will be, um, it will be a chargeable thing. And hopefully this Friday we'll find out more about what services we're going to get. Is it a whole new timetable or is it just standing in for Bakerloo line stock? We don't know, but we will find out soon enough. But these images are amazing, aren't they? Aren't they, little Mega Sim? Yeah. Yeah. You looking forward to driving this one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the uh, photos? Awesome. Yeah. Can you see that you've got the black roof and the red roof? So they're different times. So it's like the more modern roof and the more traditional roof. Mm -hmm. But it does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And we've played this already, haven't we? We've driven the Bakerloo line and we've driven the Class Four Eight Three. Yeah. So we're now getting the full length. This was something that we mentioned on the Isle of Wight route. Why doesn't Rivet Games bring this out? And so they must have just heard us all, the feedback, and this is why we've got this. So yeah, looking forward to this. This is coming out next week as a Loco DLC. But no, that's all we're going to have time for in this video today. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from La Mega Sim. Social media links are in the description below as well. And we will see you on the next video. And I'm going to put the intro again because I love it so much. But yeah, this is Mega Sim and... Little Mega Sim. Out of here. Yeah. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.